our first experience with these guys. Blight and pestilence. <laughs> We already killed one that totally stripped a whole tomato plant. And this is in a totally separate bed. Huge and fat. Look how big it is. It's literally, it looks so much bigger in person than any photo I've ever seen. You should hold it up to your, oh, it like all curled up. This one's smaller than the last one. It is smaller. Because the other one ate a whole freaking tomato tree. That's why it was fat. Look at that horn on its butt. Amazing, huh? Mm. I will now cut it in half and green stuff will spew from it. You wanna see? This is how we knew there was something going on. This tomato plant was thriving. And then we came today and there's not a leaf on it. compared to our other ones. Today is Monday, July, I think it's the 22nd. And I'm just gonna do a super quick update on the status of our garden. We have been out of town for a week, so our garden has just been left to run itself. And um, I came back today and I'm looking at it and um, also I don't know if we've shared but we don't have water on the land so unless we bring water in jugs we have no way of watering our flowers which has been amazing because we've been trusting God to water our flowers and he has so everything that's in the garden that's growing is the blessing of the Lord and it's been a rainy morning so everything is looking bright and pretty and our year one on the land the garden is wild and untamed so just a quick look this is our uh, zinnia bed it was supposed to it has peppers in it and dill and tomatoes but i mean everything is piled into this bed um, you can see i picked actually our first beefsteak tomato from this one we have an okra plant oh Oh my gosh, I haven't even noticed. We have our first okra. Oh wow, okra flowers are so pretty. Okay, so we've got, let's see, okra and um, a peanut, the peanut plants in here. And we've got pepper plants, but I don't see any peppers on it yet. And um, there is, uh, I planted potatoes in this raised bed. I have no idea what's going on with those though. So that's this bed, which is at the end. This one, uh, we harvested lots of beets from this one. So once that emptied out, I still had some tomato plants. So I went ahead and put the tomato plants in. There was also broccoli in this one, which the worms destroyed. So yeah, there's still some snapdragons um, and the zinnias are just so pretty, but now it is the tomato and zinnia bed and some other random flowers that are in there. And this one is the tomato bed. Um, it is um, Roma tomatoes. There are peppers in here but I feel like those have been overtaken by the giant Roma tomato plants. Um, and then there's the cherry tomatoes which we've harvested quite a few of those. The Romas have had this disease, actually I've been trying to cut them off so that way all the energy isn't going into bad tomatoes, but it's this thing. Uh, blossom rot, I think is what my mom called it. So that's kind of disappointing. So that's that. It is what it is. And then on the trellis is beans, Kentucky Wonder Beans that we're growing. And then this one, I've been working on it this morning, taking out all of the vines from the snap peas. We did so well with snap peas this year. Those were amazing. Oh, butterflies on the Mexican sunflower. That is a beautiful one. So pretty. Um, 
The beets are still growing in there. I actually totally forgot about them because they were hidden in between. And so today there's still a whole bunch more in there, but I only wanted to pull out what I needed. I pulled out these, which this guy is huge. Look, the palm of my hand is the biggest beet we've gotten. Probably won't taste that great, but we won't know in a smoothie. Um, and the mammoth sunflowers are also gigantic. We've had quite a few sunflowers already and been keeping the tops to save the seeds, but they are looking beautiful. So those are the outside beds, and I'll go around and do the inside. Okay, and here's from this side. This bed looks really sad looking right now. Um, the flower tubes, they were looking amazing, and then I couldn't keep up with... Um, cutting the cosmos so yeah um, it's, it's just looking okay and then this bed had the broccoli and cabbage which were doing so good until the worms we were away for two weeks and the worms just went had a heyday and ate all of our cabbage and broccoli down to nothing so we cut them out and now we have carrots in here, which we learned our lesson with carrots. We're just going to wait until August 1st hits, then we're going to pull a carrot. And then we have some wildflowers in here that I planted, and I'm going to go ahead and plant some beans in here. Um, yeah, that's the goal, is to do beans. We had so many cucumbers, and then, I don't know what happened, all my vines died. So, that was interesting. Our vertical... Uh, <laughs> our vertical whatever you want to call it we will not do morning glories on them that was a disaster they have all collapsed so we're holding this one up with our ladder this bed is has just can't even see it let me get over here is literally just a morning glory bed and a sunflower bed because i took all the beets out of it and now no sun can get to it you can't even see the bed so that bed is just gonna it's just gonna be and then this one was the one where I planted all kinds of beefsteak tomatoes and they looked terrible. They actually looked like this one, but smaller. So we took them all out except for one and we don't know if because it was a full compost bed and the tomato plant didn't like that. I don't know. We are getting tomatoes from this one though, so I'm not sure. Um, but then we have zucchini growing in it, cosmos, uh, basil, snapdragons, and then our row of sunflowers behind it, and a cardinal vine, and then this poor archway is totally collapsed. The morning glories were just too heavy for it, and we tried to rescue it, and it just did not happen, so we're just leaving it. and. Um, we had our gladiolas, which looked gorgeous when they were blooming. You can still see the ends of that. It was so pretty. Oh, we have another one. It's going to bloom soon. Oh, okay. I'll fix that in a bit. We had cabbage in here that we cut out. Cabbage was an absolute failure this year, and that's okay. We have tons of sunflowers growing, and then this was our surprise plant. It is... I don't know if we've revealed it yet, but... Da-da-da! A pumpkin! I have no idea where the thing came from. I did not plant that, so that's fun. And then this bed is the one that was a also a disaster. Um, so I planted my mint in there, and we're just letting the carrots go. What else did we plant? Oh, we planted peas in here, and they didn't grow. So that's just kind of a random bed right now. But yeah, here's the view of the backside. It's been fun. It's the untamed garden, wild and free, and we're happy with the way everything's going. No pressure. There is a reason why we invite the Lord into everything we do, including the little desires of our heart like gardening. So I am in the garden and I'm cutting zinnias and I notice that there's these big old nasty poos on my zinnia plants which is right below um, my tomato plant 
And so I just immediately said, any imposter that is in my garden, I command you to come forth um, in the name of Jesus because there is, n there is no room for imposters in my garden. I literally turn the corner and all of a sudden, look at this, through all these flowers, look at this, there he is. Immediately my eyes went straight to him. That is the Holy Spirit. That is how he works. He loves partnering with us. He loves doing this stuff with us. And if there is an intruder in the garden, he will show you if you ask him. Thank you, Lord. Breakfast of champions. Fresh tomatoes from the garden. And a salad, that would be good. Was that one still green? That's good. It's crunchier. You can eat green tomato. Fried green tomatoes. Show us the carrots. So we have a little fat guy who's crossed his legs. So, there's a little colorful ones. And that one, I think this is really interesting from when we transplanted it. I think that's what this is. Oh. I mean, look at this guy crossing his legs. <laughs> oh my gosh, just gonna sit here cross legs. Look at his color. He's kind of red. Oh, yeah. Kind of orange. Pretty really cool, pretty. hey? They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Smells like carrots. Love it.